All right, everyone, welcome to your 28th MySQL tutorial. I have no idea why you guys are still watching these. Total waste of time. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But anyways, welcome to your 28th tutorial. And now that we know how to do all sorts of cool stuff, insert rows into our table, we know how to do a whole bunch of queries, select statements, I think it's time we learn how to edit rows. So check it out. Let's say that we just inserted an item into this website. So I'm selling some, I don't know, a sack of ham or something. But then I was like, oh, wait a minute, mom. You said pudding hammock? I thought you said sack of ham. Now I have to sell a freaking sack of ham? Well, we need a way to edit items that are already in the database. Now we can do this in one of two ways. The first way is that we can just go ahead and delete this row and rewrite it, but there's an easier, more simple way, and I'm going to show you that right now. So in order to edit a row, you use the term update. I think they should have chose edit, but they chose update instead. It means the same thing. Now you're saying, okay, what table do you want to update? Well, I want to update a row from the items table. So there you go. Go ahead and hit items. Now after this, you need to say, okay, which piece of information did you want to update? Did you want to update the ID, the name of it? Maybe you wanted to change the price or the number of bids? Well, in order to do that, we first need to use the set keyword. Now, set means change, basically. Now, after this, rewrite the name of the column or the piece of information that we want to change. So, of course, what was I say? A sack of ham or something? I forgot what it was. But anyways, we want to change it. So, we want to change the name well, what do you want to change it to? Just go ahead and give it a new value using equals and then type the new value. We want it to sell a pudding hammock. And if you don't know what that is, I would recommend that you Urban Dictionary that shiz. We wanted to actually sell a pudding hammock instead of a sack of ham. So we can't just go ahead and run this baby right now because look what happens whenever we would run this. It would update the items table and it would set the name of all of your items to pudding hammock. Now, unless you're running a website and you're selling 300 pudding hammocks, I don't recommend you do this. So whenever you use the update, Oh, excuse me, I can't talk. Whenever you use update to edit rows, it is critical that you use a where clause. Now the where clause is saying, okay, what row do you want to edit? Well, we only want to edit where ID is equal to 106. We only want to edit this item. We don't want to change the name of all of the rows in our table. So now let's go ahead and run this and check it out. It now says one row affected, and if we go look at items and sort, find 106, it now changed the name of 106 to pudding hammock. Now how awesome is that? So check this out. Say that we, I don't know, we were maybe editing this and maybe we had to take it down because we're not allowed to sell pudding hammocks, but then we talked to the owner of the website and he allowed us to po put it back up. Well. That's nice and all, but why the heck did you reset my bids to zero? These are hot items. They're selling like hotcakes. This thing had like 66 bids on it. Well, of course, we need to edit that too. So if you're saying, okay, not only do I want to edit one column, but I want to edit multiple columns, we can do that as well. Now, I'm not going to have to type the whole thing. Let me just, well, I might as well change this again. So let's say, you know what? Instead of selling pudding hammocks, I'm going to sell um, frog paste. It's the best pace, trust me guys. Now whenever you want to edit more than one columns, again, this is pretty self-explanatory, but you just separate it with a comma. Now you go ahead and write the other name of the column, for example, the bids, and you can edit these two. So again, just like before, separate your columns with a comma and just write the new value of each. So now we're changing the item 106 again, we're changing the name to frog paste, and we're gonna add 66 bids because, I don't know, why not? It's just an example, give me a break guys. So now we go ahead and hit go and it says one row affected, but of course you can never trust computers. Did you ever see Eagle Eye? So um, we're gonna make sure frog paste and bids 66. So that is not only how you update items, but also how you update an item with multiple, well, you know, I can't even explain it, multiple columns at once. So now, I want to teach you guys about delete and you guys are thinking okay next tutorial but I'm not going to teach you in the next tutorial because delete 
in how to delete rows of items, for example, if we no longer want to sell this frog paste or we no longer want this beef on a stick on the website, I'm going to show you guys how to delete this. And the reason I'm not waiting for another tutorial is because this is the easiest thing I have ever taught anyone in my life. So in order to delete rows, just go ahead and hit delete from and write what table do you want to delete a row from? Well, I want to delete from items where ID equals 106. You guys probably think I'm going to type something else after this, but I'm not. That's it. The only thing you write is what row do you want to delete and what table are you deleting that row from? Now, again, the where clause is very important because if you just say delete from items, it might delete your entire table. So let me go ahead and delete the item. I'll go ahead and delete 104. So it says, do you really want to delete? Okay. Yes, I do. And it says, okay, I freaking deleted it for you. You said, okay, you even verified it. So now we got to go ahead and check. We got 106, 105, 104 is now deleted from our table. 103, 102, 101, so on and so forth. So I can't even remember what that item was, but that is how you delete items from a database. And again, I know a lot of you guys are just going to be so tempted to not use that where clause and it's going to delete your whole table, but hey, there you go. So another thing I want to mention, this is the last thing I promise before uh, you know you guys can go watch w weird cat videos or something, but that's why primary keys and ID numbers are so important because you know how in our where clause I said delete items where ID equals 106? Well, say that you decided not to use primary keys or ID numbers because you know you just don't take my advice. Well, then you started this website and a bunch of people were selling DVDs. Well, you wanted to delete this item right here because this is a spammer who posted this. So you said delete where name equals DVD. So yes, you ran that query and it would delete this row too, but it would delete all those other people who also named their items DVDs. So whenever you use primary keys, instead of giving it a general name that may delete 10 or 20 other rows accidentally, you say delete item 99 because that's the primary key. No other row can have that primary key and you give it an ID so that way it knows which specific one to delete. So that is the beauty of primary keys and again that's one little gem of information plenty more to come in the next tutorial what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be showing you guys how to create entire tables it's gonna be awesome it's gonna be amazing so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and add me on Google Plus and I will see you guys in the next video